In the just concluded presidential and national assembly elections, which left the FCT natives with just one seat from Abuja South, which consists of Abaji, Kwali, Kwagolada, Kuji Federal Constituency. Losing that of Amak, Bwari Federal Constituency, and most importantly, the senatorial seat for the natives. It is against this backdrop that the Major Agora Peace and Development Initiative over the years has been sensitizing the natives on the need for peace and unity, more so to speak in one voice. It was a gathering of youths across the federal capital territory as well as FCT Council of Chiefs to discuss and deliberate on issues that has to do with the natives and also to officially unveil Major Agora Peace and Development Initiative. One of the guest speakers, Theophilus Chukudu, used this occasion to call on relevant stakeholders in the FCT to go back to the drawing board as he further highlighted some challenges of the natives. They allow that crack that has been there in the FCT to break more, to crack more. People from outside will penetrate. He went further to suggest that the only solution for the indigenous people is to come together. We strategize, realign, dialogue, discuss, and find a lasting solution to our problems. One of the solutions are suggested by him regard for our traditional institutions. It is key. My village, we hold our traditional ruler, every community holds its traditional ruler in esteem. Those days in Abuja, if you walk around our villages, you will drop your 1,000 Naira or Sile here or whatever it is you have. Come back the next day, you still see it here. A typical indigenous person of Abuja was known to be that person that respected his traditional rulers. But what happened? Representing the FCT Council of Chiefs, his Royal Highness, Alhaji Husseini Agabi Mam, addressing the media, appreciated the founder, Major Agora Peace and Development Initiative. Since he started this journey, I have been giving him moral support, and all these challenges as he has been encountering, I foresaw it for him. But for the fact that he is a boy, that once he has a target, he is not always frustrated, he is focused. He further said that the unity the founder has been clamoring for is mostly needed at a time like this. So I advise him to continue with that courage that what he has been yearning for the FCT people has come because what has befallen us has now brought people's senses to what he has been preaching all these years. I've done my part to sensitize our people that we need to unite so that we'll be able to actualize whatsoever we want to achieve. And going back to what has happened to us as FCT natives, I think uh, through my, let's say my contribution, it is high time for them to know that uh, the message we have been trying to pass through is very, very important because they have ignored the message of unity. And uh, that is what is, has made us today to fail woefully. In fact, we need it now, ever than before. This is the time that FCT indigenous inhabitants need to come together and unite so that we we'll fight for our own cause. When, when we continue to operate independently, then we are bound to see so many challenges, known and unknown. So the only solution is when we agree to come together to work as a team, to see ourselves as an entity. You know, we need to discard the issue of religious bigotry and intolerance. We need to discard the issue of tribalism and ethnic chauvinism. It's a success and I thank God for this program because it has opened our eyes to see the effect of unity as indigenous. Blessing Philip, Katapur TV News.